Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to talk about rune farming, the best way to farm runes in the game. Now, we've already spoken about this. We've already told you guys how to do this. We put up a video ages ago on this rune farm here. By now, you guys should know all about this one, and I'm not going to tell you the same thing all over again. If you want to be efficient, kill these guys for a bunch of runes, or grab a crossbow, run over here, shoot this bird, watch it fall off the edge, it drops, gives you a bunch of runes. You guys know this by now. It is very obvious, and if you're optimized, you can get over 5 million in runes per hour. As you can see here, it is very lucrative. However, if you guys saw the original video, you will know that in order to get to this location initially, you need to do the quest line from the guy outside of the first step, which has the rather annoying portion that involves you having to go and invade three other players. And some people in the comments have said, well, how do I do this if I am offline? Well, thankfully, I have an answer for you guys. You can also get here via a different means. It will require progress a little bit later in the game, so it is not something you can do as early. But for those of you guys that play offline, don't want to invade, or maybe you just killed the NPC because you're a savage, rest assured, you can still get here. So let's go over what you guys need to know. If you do find this helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, if you haven't seen the original Room Farm video, we will put the link in the description box down below so you can find out how to get here if you want to do it the conventional way. But for this one, you need to turn your attention to the Consecrated Snowfield. Now, I did a video the other day on how to access the Secret Lift, but as a very quick recap, you will need two halves of a medallion, and you will, of course, also need to progress the point in the story where you get to the mountaintops of the Giants. The first half of the medallion can be found over in the village of the Albanarax, which, of course, is located over here in Leonia. You wander up here, go up from the site of Grace. There is a pot. You smash the pot, speak to the guy inside, or just kill him, and you will get the first half of the medallion. The second half of the medallion, of course, again, you can only access when you get to the snowy region of the game, which, as mentioned, is a little bit later. But once you get there, you need to work all the way up to the north to the Castle of Sol, and you basically need to get to the end and defeat the boss. Upon defeating the boss, you can get to the location behind him, go up the lift, climb to the top, open the chest, and that is the second half of the medallion. Once you've got that, you then return to the Great Lift of Roll, and you then go over to the platform, you tab over to the right, and you select Use the Secret Medallion. This will then take you to a new location over here, and of course you can then walk out to the Consecrated Snowfields, which is the sort of secret snowy area. Of course, there's other stuff to do here as well. If you want to get to Halleck Tree, you're going to have to go through here, but for the purposes of the farm, if you now want to get back to Mogwin Palace, this is what you need to do. You can either go from the very first site of Grace, the Consecrated Snowfield, or I just found it easier to go from the top left, which of course is the Apostate Derelict Church. Either one, it doesn't really matter. You basically want to go down to this location you see here, which is basically midway between both of those sites of Grace. You then wander over to this location, and you will see there is a portal. Now, when you walk up to that portal, the first time you do so, there will be an invader, or at least there should be. There may be some slight differences based on your quest progress, or of course, what you've done in the game. But the invader should spawn, which then deactivates the portal. You kill the invader, it reactivates, and you can then go through. It may well just be that it's active for you. But either way, go over here, do that, interact with this portal, and you can then go through this portal, and surprise, surprise, it brings you out here, which initially might not look that familiar, but walk out the cave, follow the route, pretty standard, and you are then in Mogwin Palace. And if you look down there, you will see a familiar site of grace, which is the site of grace we use for this famous farm. So you then simply wander around the cliffs, drop onto the platform, wander down, grab that site of grace, and you are now in the farming zone. And of course, again, if you guys saw that video, quite simply, you either go down and kill all these guys for a bunch of runes per kill. Obviously, make sure you have the Scarab Talisman equipped so you get more runes per kill. And again, if you wanna be cheesy, you can also throw out a crossbow, shoot this bird over here, watch it fall to its doom, Get a bunch of runes. This, of course, is by far the best rune farm, but again, we've already spoken about that. The main thing is for those of you that want to get here via different means and don't necessarily want to have to do the invasions, that is your route. If you guys have any questions, by all means, let me know in the comments down below. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. If you guys haven't caught our latest upload, be sure to check out this video for more Elden Ring, and of course, keep it locked for plenty more.